Hey, what's up everybody? It's Meath24, and this is part two of my High Grade Double O Riser review. Last time I ended with the posability of the O Riser and the Double O Gundam itself, so let's just get right into the weapons here. You're going to get two of these GN Sword 2s, and this is basically what they're going to look like right out of the box. I did panel line the blades there, and then these uh, clear parts I did blue with a uh, Sharpie marker, and I'm actually going to have to touch those up a little bit because they're fading a, a little bit there, but you do get these gray stickers that wrap around the clear part there, and the handle will just slide right into the double O's hand as such when it's in sword mode, or you can flip this blue part down, then flip this handle down, and then put it in his arm as such with that little bit resting in that uh, little opening in his wrist and then you've got the uh, or it's in, in the little opening in his forearm, sorry not his wrist and then you just switch the blade sideways and you now have the GN rifle which a lot of people I've heard say looks pretty goofy and I agree I don't really ever plan on posing him like this, but it's kind of a different inclusion for the kit. Now, if you want to, you can take the blades and remove the handle here on both of them, and then take this double-ended bit and slap the two blades together to create what I believe is called the GN Staff, something to that extent, and then if you remove the back of his hand you can just stick this in his hand and then you know close it all together and then he can wield this which looks pretty cool. So here we have the double O with the GN Staff in his hand and really this thing doesn't have a whole lot of weight issues. It's pretty lightweight so you can kind of spin it all over the place, do whatever you want with it. And while you can't actually store the GN staff anywhere on the double O when you're not using it, if you put the GN swords back into their standard sword mode, you'll notice there's a peg on the side of either sword, and these just stick into the side skirts, and so you can store them when you're not using them, and these tend to hold a lot better than the knives on the Exia which is really nice because, you know, you shake it, they're not going anywhere, you bump them around, they're just going to wiggle back and forth, whereas on the Exia, if you barely even touched them, they just fall off. While the kit does come with two open fist hands, you also get one of the open palm uh, effect hands, which is kind of a nice inclusion. Now, for the extra knives that come with this kit, you get some stickers of the Celestial Being logo and the Celestial Being uh, text down there, and basically, to extend the blades, all you have to do is pull this out, and then it's longer, and with this little peg here, you can stick it into the elbow of the double O and do the same thing on the other side. And so even if you're not using the GN Sword 2s, you can use those. And while keeping these in knife mode is really cool, you can take off the blue top parts, scoot them down a single peg, and then take the handle off of one side and put it in the middle to make a shield. And if you want it you know, short ends like that, you can keep it like that, or you can pull them back out to make it longer, and basically the same thing as what you would do with the knives. You're just going to pop it into the back of the elbow there, although generally I do find it is a better effect if you have it around the front with the arm facing backwards, kind of like you would have with the uh, Victory Gun or the V2. And as with the GN Sword 2s, when you are not using the knife pieces, you can stick them right on the double O itself with these little gaps underneath the GN drives. I'm just going to pop the upper pegs into those, and there you go. In the event that you'd rather store the knives on the O-riser, you just have to take the elbow handles and pop them into the openings on the side of either binder there. But of course what everyone wants to see the most is the O-riser and the double O gun combined. So what you're going to do to achieve that is you're going to take the sides of the O-riser and just slide them backwards and pop them off. Then you're going to take the middle piece here and pull this section backwards and fold it. This little peg here 
is going to stick right into the back of the double O Gundam. And it will put a little bit of weight on the back, but not a ton. Then with the binders, you're just going to flip up the little peg here to reveal a set of two pegs, and one will go into the bottom of the GN drive, and the other will go into the binder. Then you're just going to take these little side binders there, flip out the wing blade pieces there, and then this uh, stabilizer thing is generally supposed to be up, though sometimes I do bend it down like that. And here is the double O riser all put together. And I have to say, Bandai did a great job of capturing the look and feel of the Gundam from the show without making it too bulky. I mean, granted, the binders on the top there are quite big, but it doesn't really weigh the kit down or make it seem like it's too obtuse in certain areas. The instruction manual gives you a cool shot of the double O with its GN particles flying all over the place, which is pretty sweet. You got some specs of the mobile suit and Setsuna FC as well as Sashi Crossroad. Instructions on how to build the kit. More instructions on how to build it. And on the back here has even more information on the uh, GN weapons and the docking mode, and then just a bunch of different cool poses. So do I recommend this kit? Absolutely. It's the single best high-grade kit I've ever seen, and quite frankly, I think it's going to be the best high-grade kit we'll have for quite a while to come. I think it even overshadows some of the master grades just with what you can achieve out of this kit in terms of posability and what you get in terms of the level of detail and color variation in this kit. As I've said before, there's a number of variations of this double O and O riser in combinations or separate, so take your pick on whatever one you want and just go get this kit if you collect high grade Gundams. Or even if you don't and you've, you've never really done the high grades, you've always done the master grades, I'd still highly recommend this kit. Don't forget to comment below, subscribe if you like what you see, and with that, I will see you guys next time.